I wanted to call this video how to organize your folders in Canva for messy people, but it's not that we're messy. It's just that we see things globally. Are you like that? Like I have to see everything. So I know where it's at. I have friends that say, put things away in the closet, put them in folders, and then I can't find them. So I'm going to show you some simple things that you can do if you're that global person who tends to like everything to be out. And these are very simple things that you can do in Canva to organize and not be mega obsessed about it. Does that make sense? Or mega organized. There's those people that can just come in a room and just boop, 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 fix things. And you're like, oh, I wish I could be like that. But they could probably come in and do it. And then I would probably rearrange it because I just have to see certain things. So not saying which one's better, but I want to help you organize, make subfolders in your folders in Canva. Now, some of you have already made folders and you didn't know you could make subfolders. This is something I didn't know I could do till just recently. So I'm going to make them with you. And two, if you have never made folders, then you'll find out how to do it. So good for both of you. Um, we are going to Some of you may be sitting here saying, I already know how to make folders. I have a free account. I can only make two, so it's not even worth watching. I have good news for you. Canva has come up with a new feature where everybody can have unlimited folders. Let's go in and look real quick at the plans and the pricing. Uh, we're going to go all the way down. This is the free account, Canva Pro and Canva for Teams. Most people get the free or the pro. Um, let's go all the way down to the bottom where it looks at storage. Okay, you can see all the different features. And you can decide for yourself which features you need. But this is what I want you to look at. If you do make folders, yes, it's exciting. You can, well, here it is, go all the way down to the bottom where it says uh, storage. You can see here where your folders are unlimited. Look at that, unlimited, unlimited, unlimited. Awesome. We all get that feature. Here's where the feature is different. How much storage space do you get? On a free account, you have five gigabytes and then it goes up for the pro account and the team account. So if you do a lot on Canva, and I think that you would do more if you keep watching videos on all the fantastic features that it has. I'm getting, just as an example, and this is off the, <laughs> going off on a tangent, but I'm getting ready to tutor using um, Google Classroom. And I just found out on Canva, I can make my classroom homepage right here. And it's already been designed as far as size and it's set and ready to go so I can use it on uh, the Google. I didn't even think that was possible. I accidentally came across it. My point is keep watching, keep looking into it and see what it does. Now, if you want the pro account, you've never had it. There is a link below where you can use the trial for free and check it out and see how it's different from the one you have. I highly recommend you look at it. It's free. And if you find you don't need it, then just, just get rid of it. What can we put into folders? Most people think I can put everything into folders or, or maybe only a few things. I thought that I could only put my uploaded photos in there. And that's kind of what I used it for because I kept uploading pictures and it was getting really crowded in that main area. And I'm going to show you, I'm still messy. I'm still global, but I didn't want to fix it. I wanted to do it live here. So you could see how I can take a mess and organize it. Make note of this. What can I put in my Canva folder? Number one, there's four different things. Designs. You can put all of your designs. You know how you find them on that homepage and all your designs are down there? You can put those into folders. Now, most of my designs are YouTube thumbnails, but if you're using Canva for Instagram or Facebook or any other thing like that, and they're all pre-measured, you can subcategorize those into the different so social media platforms. And that's where the subfolders really come in handy. So I want you to start thinking that way. The next thing that you can put into folders are photos. And I already told you all my upload, not all, <laughs> not all, some of my uploaded photos are in folders and I have them in folders according to different um, topics. You can also put photos that are on the Canva platform. So if you find some photos in there, you can also browse and put those in there as well. So pictures that you've taken, other pictures that you can browse and find, if that makes sense. The third thing that you can put into your folders are graphics and elements. So, you know, you may have different affiliate marketing companies that you work with and you like to put the logo there. Like I have Canva, I have a um, YouTube um, get logo that I save, um, different things like that. Anything that's a graphic um, or an element, you can keep it there or 
put it as logos, like I said. And the last but not least, you can also save your video clips. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't used Canva yet to, to save video clips or do presentations and things like that, but you can save them here in Canva. Now, I do want to give you one little not so good thing. You cannot save Canva templates. Now, you know how to get into Canva. We've done this before. Um, you can create your design here. I've already got, I think, a thumbnail size ready. But this is what I mean by messy. Look down here. These are all my designs. Sometimes I don't even save things, and I've got these blank sheets, and you know they're just there. There's they're they're all over the place. And you can see just by looking at this, I have so many different topics. One of the things I did before I started this video was I thought, what are some main topics I can come up with? You can call them business topics or just project topics, whatever you want. And I have work that I'm doing for Etsy. So I'm going to label a folder Etsy, and then I'm going to sub make subfolders according to my projects, just to give you an idea of what I'm doing. I'm not going to do it all here. I'm just telling you. I have another business called Simply Schooled where I do homeschool consulting, and that's going to be the main thing. And we have um, ads that we make. We have branding that we have. We have logos, little um, images and things or graphics. So all of that can be divided under Simply school. There's another business called Belsky Mortgage and Loan. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of those into another folder. And then I have my main channel here and I'm going to put stuff in there. And then I have another channel called my Amish Neighbors. And so I just call that my Amish channel. So I'm going to make another folder there. That's five. I'm probably going to go through. I'll find more, but you know, I have to, I'm the type of person that I organize as I go. And Right away, those were five things I saw. Absolutely, that would help me to organize like that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you real quick how you can make a folder. If you go over here to the left, it says projects. Well, under projects, you can select folders. These are folders I already made when I was editing. I did not know that they showed up on my homepage as well. So you can see that I already have somewhat of a, an organization. It says Nick stuff, Simply School, Vanessa Self Photos. Um, uh, the Amish, I already started a folder there. This is miscellaneous, cute clip art backgrounds. But again, it's kind of all over the place. So I want to at least get those five done. Now, how do I make these folders? I can make them from here. I don't have to go into the account to make them. And I'm going to show you where they're at there as well. Okay, you can create a folder by going up here to the top right-hand corner. You do see that plus sign. It's right next to it, okay? If you hit the plus sign, it just tells you what you can do. But if you hit the little dots next to it, it will actually allow you to make that folder. So we're going to make a folder. Click that and create folder. And I'm just going to call it Etsy. And I'm going to put it all in capital letters. If you have a team, you can invite team members. I do not have a team account. And now I have Etsy right here. Now, earlier I told you I had one called Simply Schooled, and I think that one is here. I already have a folder. So I could go in and rename it if I wanted to. So if I have some folders here that I decide aren't, uh, like uh, here it says course photos, I might want to just make a, a major photo called courses and then put my course photos according to my courses. Um, I, I do have a hot mess, I realize that. But I do have Etsy, so we're gonna concentrate on that for today, because that's one that I definitely have some things that need to go in there. Now, a couple things. I wanna show you a couple things from the homepage. So I'm gonna create another folder called um, Third Grade Index Cards. I know what that is, it's something that I'm making for Etsy. They're helper cards for kids with the rules for math. Um, I am a teacher too, by the way, uh, third grade. That's why I'm making this for Etsy. Um, always looking for different streams of income, right? But I'm going to go ahead and make another folder, and then I'm going to show you how to move that folder into the main folder. So we're going to do a subfolder from, from the home page, okay? Now, this is a tip that I want to show you. Definitely pay attention because this is definitely going to help you. Notice here I have my grade three math index cards, and I even wrote down five by seven so that I remember everything about it, easy to find. And I want it to go under Etsy because I know this is something that I'm selling as a digital product. I have like three or four different projects I'm working on, and they're all in all over the place inside Canva. I can find them, but this will make it easier. So what I'm going to do is just hit the three dots next to this. And I'm going to move them to another folder. And you hit move to folder. And of course, I want them in my projects. 
It's going to give me a list and then I'm going to go down and look for Etsy, which is right here. Now notice it has another arrow. I, ha I could have a bunch of subfolders in Etsy and I could still uh, keep putting them in. But right now Etsy's emptied and I'm going to say move it here. So now when I go to look for my stuff, that's where it's going to be. All my Etsy digital products will be there. Now, if I sell these things on other um, platforms later, I could call it digital products. But right now I'm only on Etsy. All right. One other thing. Etsy is probably something that I want to find right away and I can pin it to my home page. So normally I would go into my Canva. Notice we haven't even been in there yet. We haven't even been out of the home page. Now I can pin it over here on the left and I can go to it right away. So this is another feature that I want to show you that makes your life a little bit easier, a little bit more organized. Now we're used to using the terminology of pin, which is actually what it's doing. But I'm going to go over here to the three dots next to Etsy. I can rename it. I can move it to another folder later. Like I told you, I could have a design folder or a digital products folder. I could share it with other people and I can star it. When I put a star on it, notice it's going to pop up over here under starred folders. Is that cool or what? So now if I need to go to Etsy, I don't have to go into the main area, look around for folders, because I'm going to show you where they're at. It's not this easy. And now I can just click this and go right to my project and get to work. All right, let's go into editor and I have three more features that I want to show you. Um, and, and I want to also, don't forget, I want to show you that little tip on how to save templates without saving them because we're not allowed. All right, let's go to our editor page. Well, on this page, to find your folders, look at this. You're going to scroll down over here on the left, and you can see some of my folders, right? There's Vanessa's photos. There's Nick's stuff, Simply Schooled, backgrounds, and all this has to be the backgrounds to what? Maybe I'll leave it there. I don't know. I might call it editing tools for or editing features. Um, I haven't gone that far yet, but all these things are here. But over here, you can also go down all the way down to the bottom and it says folders. And then that will pop up all of the folders that I have made. Now, starred fo folders, these top three are um, basically from Canva. You can't change the titles on those. You also saw those on the home page. But here I have an Amish folder already started, but maybe I want to go in and organize those. I don't know at this point, but I do have a lot of pictures in there. Um, here they are. These are a lot of Amish pictures. These are probably fine. They don't really have to be um, divided yet. I don't have that many, but that does help. Another feature I want to show you, um, you did go down, you found your folders down here, but um, one of the neat things that's here is um, right above it, there's an emoji folder that Canva put there for you. So you may not need to collect emojis. Um, you may find some that you like a lot, but they are there. One of the things that I want to emphasize here is all of these folders are showing up here on the left, but I'm going to be honest with you, they're so much easier to find when you go to the homepage because it takes you right into what you need and it's easier to work with. So that's your third feature there, seeing that you can get those from the side in your editor page. So anything you put in these folders, you can edit with them here. And you can even, I put typed in my name, let's say I wanted my folder with Vanessa, their self photos, I can use the search bar and find those from here as well. And I'm showing you that because eventually you're probably going to get a lot of folders and you're, you're going to have to search for them instead of have to scroll. All right, what I want to show you here is how you can find designs and when you put them in the folder, start to name them. So now I'm going to show you as you start saving things, start giving it keywords or names or things that's going to help you find it. Let's do this. I'm going to save this book stack of books. Okay. All right. To move this to a folder, you would think you right click here, but you don't, you go over here and there's three dots. Go ahead and click that. They called it a pile of books, which works and it's free and you can scroll down and it says add to folder. And I'm going to go under my projects and then I'm going to put it under cute clip art. So we're going to open that and then I'm going to move it here. And it says right here, add to folder. You can also I go over here where I was telling you that you don't have to, but if you want to go under more, you can save to a folder here. It's basically the same thing. You have to make sure you hit that apply button. But one of the things, and there's your projects, you're going to follow the same thing. But one of the things I wanted to show you here, let's go to more. You can also save it to your phone, 
um, make a QR code out of it, copy to a clipboard. Look at all the different things that you can do. You can embed it, website, turn it into a template and share the link to watch. So lots of different things you can do with these different designs. I do real quick want to go back to my folder, make sure it's in there. Let's go down to the cute folder. There's the cats and it's right there. Now, I promised you I'd save this to the end, but how do you save the designs from Canva if you really like them and you can't put them in folders? I already told you you can't put them in folders, so how are you supposed to save them? I want you to scroll up and go under templates. So let's say the, these are some templates here that you really like. Like let's say you like this one here. Um, how, how can I save it? Like, how can I keep coming back to that and redoing it? Maybe that's my basic background that I like. What you do is you just hit these three dots. And even though you can't save them, you can star them. So there you go. It'll go right into your folder with the stars. And then it's easier for you to view. So let's go into the start folder. Just to make sure it got in there. Scroll down, hit folders. And you can see right here where it says starred. Let's see what we have in there. And there you go. It goes right there. So anything that's your favorite, something that you use a lot, it can be your stuff, any of those other four things I told you about, or it can be a template from Canvas. So you can star it. You just can't save it in a specific folder. That's all I have. I hope that was helpful. Like I said, if you just start getting organized, like one thing at a time, maybe say take some time and do one folder. Like I, I really want to work on my Etsy folder and I'm going to put things in there and start getting organized. I want to take you back. Um, I, again, I would go back to the homepage myself and I would just start taking my designs and I'm going to show you that real quick because I did not show you that and I apologize. But I want you to go back down to where it has these, all your folders again, like you had, right? Here's all my designs, projects, and I want to put some things into that Etsy folder. And here are my designs down here. And I'm going to show you one that I've been working on. See, I've got a lot of things here. Okay, here's one right here. I made an index card comparing numbers. I'm going to hit the three dots. And I'm going to move it to a folder. And I want it to go under My Projects. And I'm going to go under Etsy, but remember within Etsy, I had other folders. These are my third grade cards. See that? And then I'm going to hit that folder and then say add here. So now when I want to work on that project, everything I need is right there. And this is where I would do all my organizing if I was you. Um, everything will fall into place when you go back to editor. You can grab it in editor, but you want to do your organizing here on the home page. Sorry it took so long. I didn't mean for this video to be this long, but it's exciting to uh, see that even if you're a messy person or a global person, you can get organized, I promise you. Just do it one step at a time, okay? And don't beat yourself up because you're not pinpoint perfect like some other people. You have to do what works for you. And if having 10 folders and mixing them up in a different way than I just showed you and it works for you, then that's the important thing. Everything needs a home and you need to be able to find it. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Tell me your favorite feature that I just showed you or make a promise to me and tell me what you're going to work on first. How's that? Um, and that will make you committed to getting organized. And I hope you have a blessed day. I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.